Here's a couple solder bridges that I've done accidentally. This is due to putting too much solder paste. So I'll be fixing up with a soldering iron with a relatively thin tip because I have some fine pitch components. I'm gonna turn on a fume fan. Let me first solder this capacitor on that blew off. So to unsolder the bridge for these leads, I'll be using a solder wick. I have this GC Electronic Solder Flex, also known as Tree Sap. I'm going to apply a little bit of flux. So the main purpose of using flux is to purify the solder, but I also find using solder flux makes uh, desoldering easier because it attracts solder to the flux. And so now I'm going to apply heat to the solder wick. And see that the solder is attracted to the wick. And then remove the wick as you unsolder the solder bridge. Let me demonstrate this technique again. So I place the solder wick over the solder bridge, apply the solder flux, then I'll be using the solder iron to heat up the solder wick. Voila, desolder. For this solder bridge, I will be just using the solder iron to desolder this. So apply the solder iron in between the solder bridge and press down. And reflow the pen. Alright, now I will be attaching this battery cover. Then finally I will solder these two LEDs on, one on each end of the board. Alright now I finished soldering the LEDs, let's try to see if this board works. I'm going to insert a battery. And voila! A dimmable LED flashlight! Ooh. So this is what we're going to launch next month, hopefully, on our Kickstarter campaign. The sneak preview of what you guys should support us for are these Toggle on portable dimmable LEDs. So they're going to come in multiple colors. Hope you guys can support us. And thank you for checking out this video. And like, subscribe, and comment. And that's it.